But the big story on Action News tonight is good news so far for 10-year-old Sarah Murnahan of Newtown Square. She is still in surgery at Children's Hospital receiving new lungs. Of course, Sarah is the girl who was ineligible for lungs from anyone 12 years old or over until a federal judge stepped in and said she could be placed on the so-called adult list where many more lung donors would be found. Action News medical reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman is live at CHOP tonight. Allie, what's the latest information from officials there? And Jim, no word yet from hospital officials, but we spoke to Sarah's mother just about an hour and a half ago, and she tells us that right now everything is going as planned. She told me that she's not nervous about the operation. She was nervous that her little girl wouldn't get the operation. Sarah is alive because of it. Sarah's mother, Janet, tells me official word about the lung transplant came this morning, just as Sarah's health was plummeting. Right now, I feel like we have a chance. We have hope. Sarah's story sparked a national debate that led to a federal judge allowing the 10-year-old to be placed on the adult waiting list. And while most are happy about this outcome, some would like to see the rules change to help more families. Paul and Debbie Bookman tell me their 19-year-old daughter, Rachel, is in dire need of a heart transplant. She can only receive a heart from a donor 14 and older, but she is only 5 feet tall and 100 pounds. She could potentially be losing I mean, a life over this just because the fact that she's 19 and she's not 13. And that just doesn't seem fair on any level. When you just use an age as a cutoff, I just don't think that's right. They would like to see transplant decisions based on need with doctors having more say. Janet hopes her family's story will help other kids and adults in need. Today, she is thanking the public for their support and she is thanking her daughter's donor. I think it's just an amazing thing to be in a position where, you know, you're in this tragedy and yet you, you selflessly think of somebody else. And to me, that is just a hero in every sense of the word. Is the gift of life. Now, we don't know whether Sarah is receiving adult or teenage lungs. We do know that the donor is older than 12 years old. The operation can take eight hours, maybe more. We will give you updates as they become available. Reporting live from University City, Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News. Jim. Thank you, Allie.